Hi there, today I wanted to share with you guys a little bit of what I've been going through lately. I, um, it's been a very moving summer. It's been very hectic in a good way. I've felt so much energy. I've been doing lots of projects. And right now I'm actually at my friend Sam's house. I am painting a mural for her and her husband and that's so exciting. This is actually the third mural that I'm doing at their place. But yes, so right now I have three murals on the way. I'm doing two paintings, I'm doing a logo, one animation. And yesterday I just couldn't do it anymore. I had a breakdown, I feel I am burned out. And I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about this. I usually feel that for me doing social, like sharing my work on social media, for me it's very important to always keep it real. This is always on my mind and today I realized that the best way to keep on inspiring myself and you is by sharing what I'm going through and today and yesterday and for the past few weeks it hasn't been that good. I feel right now I'm burned out. Um, I don't have a creative blockage which makes it very confusing for me because I have so many ideas and I'm able to make paintings with my heart and I feel like so excited, don't get me wrong, I am very grateful for all the work that I'm doing right now. I also want to start my moon calendars for next year and like I have all these ideas and inspiration that just like makes me keep on going, going, going and I'm just so excited for it but at the same time I feel I've been I haven't been resting enough I feel I haven't been giving myself the break that I need I haven't been turning my phone for one or two days all day through uh, this past week I've been even responding to emails Sunday at midnight I don't feel this is to blame on anyone but myself and it's not even blaming you know I feel I'm learning this is a learning process and this is the step that I'm on right now. I feel this year I've been way better at learning when to stop working and when to rest. If you follow me on Instagram, you might see that in my stories. I'm always sharing when I'm taking a day off and just working from bed or whatnot, but I still have a long way to go. And that's part of the creative process. And I'm grateful for the fact that I'm paying attention to how my body feels. I feel that maybe meditating, uh, which is something that I just started a couple months ago, and yoga, which has become something that is now part of my routine, are things that are helping me realize when my body's tired, when my soul is tired, and now I'm checking in with myself more often than I used to, which is awesome. And I feel that's the reason why I'm here and I'm realizing, hey, Karu, you're going through a burnout and you need a rest. I just wanted to share with you guys these. I wanted to share with you that, you know, we all go through this. I feel sometimes I just have more ideas than what I can do. I've been waking up at 5.30 in the morning for the past few days and it's important to also know when to take a break and when to say like, hey, this is enough projects. I feel I've been just like taking so much on my mind and this is something that I'm learning to. I am a person that every time someone reaches out, I try and like collaborate and do the job. And even though sometimes uh, people reach to jobs that are not exactly what I do, I'm like, it doesn't matter. Like I, I'll learn how to do it, you know, like I, I like challenges and I, uh, I'm also learning how to step back and how to be like, hey, actually, like right now I don't have any more time. And, you know, if you're going to, through something similar, I would love for you to share it with me and also just remember that you can say no and that's totally fine. I mean, we creators need to take a break and now that we have this uh, availability and openness to share our daily life and the process of creation, it shouldn't be, it shouldn't make our artwork be compromised, if you understand what I mean. Uh, if you need to take a break, do it, please, by all means do it. I'm learning how to do it myself. I recently watched uh, one of Marisa Queens, which is an artist that I really uh, love and I feel very inspired by her work and her wisdom works. She recently shared her own experience on this and I feel very related to what she's going through or what she went through a couple months ago. And 
from her I'm learning like hey why don't I just start taking a day off you know like maybe put my phone off for a whole day every week and I just wanted to share a little bit of that yesterday I actually had a very bad uh, emotional breakdown I called in sick to my work I told them that I was having a very bad mental day that I just couldn't do it anymore and that's something that's always on my mind too like will I make it will I ever make it as a full-time artist will I uh, have to stop will I ever be able to stop having other jobs like I have right now um, and I feel that's part of the learning process just letting it go just remembering that I'm I'm here and things are starting to move more and it's not gonna just like perfect world you know like I want to keep on learning and sometimes I get anxious by feeling like oh I am not living the life that I want to but I am living the life that I want to I want to keep on learning and these break points are the ones that help us learn so I just wanted to share a little bit of that with you and you know, remember we are all going through our own stuff, like if you sometimes see people on social media and you feel their lives are perfect, just remember that's a curated version of life. We all struggle, we are all going through through something and the best way to, to put it is we're all learning and if we take every situation like a learning experience, things are gonna work out good. I wish that all of you are, you know, in the best moment that you can be right now. If there is something that is very challenging, if you're going through something that is like triggering you or has you like a little anxious or you cannot sleep or you're a little fearful just just let it go like that's the only thing we can we can do and that's the only thing that actually helps us open doors and clear our minds i am trying to let it go and i just wanted to share my experience with you um and that's pretty much it this is a little break i'm taking from the mural i'm painting today uh and yeah, I'm gonna go back to work and what I've learned from this experience is I'll remember my time off more. I'll, it's time I start like doing more of that. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you're having a good day. Just, you know, we're all here together. We are all in this together and time and hurrying up and meeting deadlines and me meeting deadlines is important, but also taking time off for yourself is important. I love sleeping and I'm actually gonna do a video about that very soon. I think I'll, I'll start a project, painting project from my bed. And yep, if you haven't seen what I do, I uh, invite you to follow up my Instagram, which is Cafe Nacoli. Um, yeah, ciao guys, talk to you soon.